Hey YouTubers, it's Nick540 here. Um, I'm a little sick, so please pardon my uh, sniffles here. Um, I actually just got back from Mexico City, where I was there. I just went down for the weekend, and why I went for the weekend is because it was my two nephews' baptism. Um, they were actually born on my brother's birthday here, um, and they got baptized. Uh, Mexico is very... I'm not Mexican. My brother's wife is Mexican, but it's very... Uh, um, traditional to do a baptism there in the Catholic tradition. So um, these my 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 family got these mugs made for all the guests, and there's some tea and stuff inside. It's a little thing of honey. Um, they're twins, so it's uh, Samuel Santiago. I'm not going to give last names here, and Mateo Thomas there. Um, so uh, while I was in Mexico, uh, I mean, it's kind of a tough. You know, I took the red eye. I just literally went down for the weekend. I arrived on uh, well early Friday morning and uh, got in early this morning, took the red eye back. So anyways, I've got a couple of things. When I was there, I went to the Pyramid of the Sun and the Moon. And when I was there, um, there was an interesting uh, uh, jewelry places. Um, and a lot of them actually were claiming to be real silver for some of the jewelry. Funny enough, I went to the Pyramid of the Sun and the Moon when I was 11, and I got a really nice silver wolf ring. Now, that there's, that was 20 years ago. That was over 20 years ago. That was 21 years ago. So uh, that was <clears throat> that was a long time ago. Um, and so uh, silver was cheaper than two. And I did pick up this. So a lot of the items weren't silver, claiming to be silver. Um, this one had the stamp of 925. It is not magnetic. It's got the, the um, uh, Mayan calendar on it. Not the full thing, but most of it. It's heavy. Uh, when I weighed it, it actually comes out to about just below 18 grams. I think it's 17.7, 17.8 grams. So just rounding up to 18 grams. I don't know if it's real or not, though, still. I mean, it was in a little stand. Uh, it looks and feels like it's got some heft to it. Um, this 18 grams here. It says 9 to five right here stamped in it but interestingly enough if you can see i kind of scratched away at it here um, and this other kind of uh more golden metals coming through kind of like a coppery metal um so it might have been plated i don't know it's got so much weight though and it does not magnetize um i have my hefty rare earth magnet and nothing but i know there's other mag uh, metals that don't magnetize either so um, I'd be curious to take it in and see if it is real. Um, it does have the stamp, but I don't know. Uh, so I know they've got a different type of silver in Mexico. Someone correct me if I'm wrong. It's a little bit of a different element, so it doesn't rust as easily. Uh, not rust, I guess, because silver doesn't rust. Tarnish is what I want to say as easily as, uh, you know, like regular silver, apparently. Someone was telling me my Spanish is really bad, but uh, that was my understanding. Anyways, I got a quick little story for you while I was there. So please bear with me. Story goes like this. My parents are, um, arrived for the baptism on the same flight as me, actually. Um, and they decided their first day to go to the Frida Kahlo Museum. My mother's a huge fan of Frida Kahlo. Um, and they took a non-registered taxi there. Um, and the non-registered taxi, uh, actually, um, my dad paid with... Uh, uh, 200 pesos here, uh, dos cincuentas pesos, um, and the gentleman uh, said, oh, I want a different bill, it's got a rip in it, so my, he passes this back to my dad, my dad, uh, and then my dad passes him a real bill, and on the way to the pyramids of the sun and the moon, we pass this through the toll road, and it's a false bill, so this is actually a photocopied bill. The guy was a, was a jerk and drove my parents around in a circle. I wasn't there for this. Um, you can clearly see, though, uh, I don't have one because I got my pesos back, exchanged at the airport back for Canadian dollars. But uh, this usually is a line of kind of like the like by metallic. You can kind of see it. Um, also, there's, the bill size is different. So the scam is, if you're going to Mexico and you don't get a registered taxi, um, is that they rip one of the scams is to rip the corner here. Um, and then want you to get the bank. So I asked to keep this because I wanted to do a YouTube video on this. Um, and the lady uh, wrote this over on it, falso, falso, on, on it. So um, I got to keep it. I folded it in my wallet to make sure I didn't spend it by accident. And actually, one, when I was buying this, I almost did. Um, so this was actually uh, t uh, 200, 200 uh Pesos. This in Canadian dollars is about seventeen and a half 
Canadian dollars. So that'd be about, you know, 12, 13 American dollars. Um, and I was able to get this for this price. So, um, yes, it's a little bit more, but uh, I knew while buying it that it might not be real. It does feel real, though. Um, and I really like just like the design. It's not like a, you know, it's I have a very fat finger, so I'm looking to wear it all the time. But uh, anyways, it was kind of interesting about this bill here. Um, you know, my dad's good humor. He kind of laughed it off. You know, I lost about 20 bucks here, just under. So, um, and it's an experience. And now I have this fake bill um, and I can pass it on. Baptism was fantastic. Um, There's lots of gold and silver shops there. And I saw one ring, at, uh, one lady at the baptism who had a um, cinco peso gold ring coin. And I was talking to her about that, which was kind of neat. So, um, and there was lots of gold and silver shops and whatnot. I just didn't, I didn't buy anything there. I wasn't totally sure. Um, my whole family pretty much speaks Spanish. I'm the worst out of all of them, but uh, the rest of them are pretty fluent. And my brother's wife's family is from Mexico, as I said. So, I mean... There just wasn't time. I mean, I just literally went for the weekend. It's a great baptism. Um, and, uh, yeah, a couple of stories here. And uh, maybe I'll do a video of some of the pictures while I was down there. But uh, thanks for watching YouTube, and I will see you in the next one.